Hey guys, it's Bethany here. Um, I tried to get on as early as I could here. I might be a couple minutes late, but we're close. Um, you know, as I look at it, this gray day, we could feel really gloomy, but let's give it the good old Mr. Rogers um, attitude. So, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Won't you be mine? Won't you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> I haven't even seen the Mr. Rogers movie yet, but I really want to. I love Mr. Rogers. Um, he always seemed to have a really good attitude. Hey, Rachel. Um, don't you love Mr. Rogers? I think everybody loved it. Um, so I am here today to take you to the tropics. You guys want to get away? Uh, get away from the winter and the snow and the gray days. Let's. Um, we're going to stamp with the Timeless Tropical Suite today. So we're going to do some tropical... Yeah, you want to come with me, Rachel? Let's go. Cancun, <laughs> Florida. Um, so I can't actually literally take you there, but let's play with some bright colors. And I don't know, this kind of is a semi-escape for me when I can play with these bright colors. And uh, they make me happy. Don't don't they make you guys happy, especially in these kind of blah, dreary days? Um, it's just so much fun. And I did get some dishes done, but now I'm just remembering I forgot to put a load of laundry in that I was supposed to do for my son but laundry overrated right <laughs> um so without any further ado I see a few people on say hi if you're here um coming on I think Robin you stopped by yay um but let's look at the timeless tropical and honestly guys um to be perfectly honest I I've been so busy with uh, my sister I went to visit her, remember last week, hey Robin. I went to visit my sister, who's just had a new baby, and then literally a couple days after we got back home, she came to visit this past weekend, so I really haven't had a whole lot of time to get in here. So last night, hey Teresa, last night I just told my husband I needed to stay up late um, and get some stamping done, because I hadn't gotten to play with this. And as you'll see, I made quite a few cards last night, so I'm not gonna tell you when I went to bed, but <laughs> I had fun. <laughs> So let's turn around and I'm gonna show you the Timeless Tropical Suite. All right, there um, are a lot of pretty, uh, pretty stamps and dies, and I'm gonna show you some cards. Um, here in the catalog shows you a few cards, really cute cards made with the suite. Um, but I'm going to show you even some really simple cards. Um, if you can't afford to get like the whole bundle or the whole suite, there are more affordable ways to just make some simple cards just using the stamp set too. Um, but I love that Stampin' Up, here I need to fold this over. I do love that Stampin' Up in the suite kind of shows what colors. So if you're running out of like cardstock or ink pad colors, if you get a suite, um, and you want to match with the designer paper and stuff, it gives you all these colors um, that go well with the, that, which is nice to just have that big and bold. Now, if you love everything in here, as I show you, because I've got almost everything in this suite, I, I just don't have these uh, little trinkets, but they add a little fun too. Uh, if you want everything, the designer paper, the bundle, that you still get 10% off, um, the embossing folder, which is really cool. I'll show you some stuff made with that. The trinkets, a stays on saddle brown color, um, and there's the memories and more cards, which I'll show you how to make some cards with that too. And this cool braided burlap trim. If you want it all, they make it really easy for you. This whole sweet bundle with the one number is saying you want everything on this page. Um, so, and it's a cling mount set, set so it's uh, our real rubber that you put the stickers on. So that's one five three. 941 and it's $116 for everything which I think is a really good deal actually and then you would earn two free celebration items that's why again celebration is such a good time to order um, and on the next page it'll show you more closely like true to size the all the stamps that come in there and again you could order just the stamp set by itself is $23 I love the font on it um, but I honestly had to get the bundle because oh, these dies, oh my goodness, they're just, they're so cool. I love this big pineapple. I will be making more with that, but I'll show you one. 
Okay, so that is the timeless tropical sweet. Um, let's show you. I'll show you some real easy cards first before. So, um, if you just want the stamp set, look how cute this is. Um, one layer. I have no extra cardstock or anything. I just used the smaller flower here and repeated repeated over the front and then I actually used um, this is a sentiment life is better with a friend like you that's a sentiment from our poppy stamp set but we have a similar one in this one that you could do our friendship is timeless which is a nice sentiment too um, so I did that in a dark black our memento pad and I'm gonna show a card similar to that yes isn't the pineapple cute Rachel that's why I got this whole bundle <laughs> I love the pineapple Here's another one where I stamped, um, so just a, another le level up because this one was super fast because I just stamped it in one color and then did the sentiment. Um, this card, still one layer, so no extra um, cardstock or layers or anything. Uh, I stamped the big flower and the, the poem, well actually the leaf and both the flowers just in memento black. And then I actually watercolored in the flowers a little bit to give them pop of color. And the palm trees I actually did stamp just in a green. Um, so adding some watercolor in and then I stamped that our friendship is timeless. Um, so doing a border, I mean these flowers are so pretty on their own too. Um, you can do some pretty simple things with them. Um, here's another one layer card, although I added some stickers from our the Memories and More uh, card pack. I love the font on here, isn't this cool? And I love this saying, rest and relax, you deserve it. That could be a thank you, that could be a birthday, um, or an anniversary, really could be any occasion. Um, and the palm trees are so fun. Um, I'm gonna show you, uh, I will show you more cards made with these, the memories and more. I put mine in a stamp case to keep them all together, but just to show you quickly, um, how pretty these are and I, I like this tropical sweet because I have all boys as most of you know um, so when I do scrapbooks and stuff I like having deeper colors and boy colors and a lot of these could work with uh, boys or girls you know the fruit and the tropical um, in fact I, last night I looked everywhere for my pictures from uh, our Florida trip that we took last here, Summer of Sun, that's pretty. And they're all double-sided. And I think you get two of each design. Um, so some of these little pieces are just extra, add some extra color. Some of them are give you journaling, op journaling options, but you can still use them for cards. So that's why these are called Memories and More. Um, you can trim these down and put them on a card, um, or you can put them in a scrapbook. So I really like that these colors can go boy or girl because I do intend on using using these pieces to put together a scrapbook for my boys from our Florida trip. And real quickly to show you, because I know Teresa, you said you scrapbook. Um, I know not everybody scrapbooks, but um, see, th this would be more fun if I could find if I had found my pictures, but um, Stampin' Up! has these divided pages. So I'm gonna hold this back so you can see the whole thing. Stampin' Up! has these things that are uh, just divided pages. Um, so the little littler pieces you can mount on. Here I just cut a Cajun Craze piece um, at four by six. So it's the exact same size as a photo, which is really nice. And this one, I'll just, and this is hard to do while I'm holding your, holding the camera. Let's move it up. Okay, so if I just put a little adhesive on the back of here, mount it onto my 4x6 cardstock, and you could put it straight or tilt it a little bit. Then I can slide these pieces right into the spots. I think it opens up on this side. These divided pages have little slots that open up. All right, here. 
and you can just slide in your piece. All right, so I'm opening up the pocket there and I can just slide that in. So again, this is the, the exact same size as a photo. So now, seriously, I could, sorry, my camera's all over the place. Now, I could literally just trim down pictures, put a picture here, picture here, a couple pictures here, and have um, options to journal a title, or I could stamp a title and then journal something about our day from um, one of our days at the beach and in Florida. So these divided pages um, really make it a lot faster. Um, for me, there, it's not as overwhelming as trying to design a whole page. Um, so it's, I really like these divided pages. So that's an option for scrapbooking, if you haven't done that before. Sorry, I'm still here. Um, I just wanted to show you, here's some finished just examples with some of the past pieces. Obviously, my son is much bigger. That's Jacob with his big um, sports glasses. Here's camp and summer stuff. And then I journaled talking about Spring Hill Camp. Here's around his birthday, July. So we did um, baseball stuff and is that when Sam was born? Man, he's gotten big. Isn't it crazy how fast our kids grow up? I can't believe my son is now 6'2 and towers over me. Um, but he did used to be shorter than us. <laughs> um, so these divided pages are, you can see on some of these, I actually used my corner rounder punch. Um, we have a three way punch and we did, I rounded the corners um, to give it just a different look, a different dimension. And then you can use the same sides cause some of them are d double sided or you can just cover them up if you don't uh, want to use the other side. I'm trying to see if I used the other side here. Yeah, so I just used the other side and decorated it. Um, and it used that same green strip, but decorated it on the other side. So um, there, that's just a few finished pages just for you to see. Scrapbooking is an option with Stampin' Up! And I love um, their Memories and More card packs are really nice um, for scrapbooking. Um, but they can be used for cards too. And this card that I made, so back showing you back to this card, you see these two pieces, the Enjoy and the Flower, are stickers. So at the very end, you get, I think it's four, four sheets, two of uh, two each of the different kinds of stickers. So the Enjoy is what I used. There's hearts, there's flowers, there's extra things. And again, you can use these on scrapbooks or cards. Um, so. There's a lot of variety in these. I love these um, these pieces. Can do a lot. Um, While well, I'm kind of showing stuff, I did want to show you the designs of our designer paper. This is really cool, these flamingos. So again, I love that these colors can go boy or girl. Um, this designer paper is really fun. There's some more elegant looking sides and then bright tropical flowers. It, this almost looks like a man's, you know, like a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> Some of these. And then there's green background. This one's fun too. I like this design with the cars. Again, that could totally be the background for like a man card. And I love this like burlap looking um, side. And then this is really fun. I love the pineapples and the bananas, and I love this sheet too. I wish we had more of those. But I think there is two sheets that has pineapple. Isn't that pretty? Yes, Rachel, I love this paper. I wasn't going to get it, and then I started seeing people using it, and nope, I had to get it. <laughs> oh. So it is pretty paper. Um, okay, so these were my examples, real simple, and I will show you how easy it is to make a card like that. Um, so you don't have to have the dies. 
or the paper. But um, let me just show you then how much more it adds. When you have a big shot and you can emboss, um, I'm just showing you too, like, I forget what this one's called, High Seas or something, the embossing folder. Uh, so these waves, embossing folder is a really cool background for the tropical stuff. And then I used some uh, sponge blending. I used a few different colors to kind of make it look like water out there. And then I just stamped the uh, trees in, in black. Um, to show you how I got that circle, I actually used a, just one of my punches and I put this so in a sticky note so it kind of already sticks down. So I stuck that down and then I just used a sponge and I sponged in with my uh, Mango Melody and then I sponged over that. So I used that as a template just in a sticky note. So this is a really easy card to make. And I love um, all the dies. So here's a simple card using the pineapples like as a background. And then we stumped, I stamped a color, or I washed off my stamp, and then I uh, stamped it in a couple different colors. And I still love that rest and relax. You deserve it, so cute. Oh, guys, here's the pineapple. Isn't it so awesome? I love it. I just love it. You almost don't need a whole lot more. And then I just stamped that our friendship is timeless. This is that basket weave, um, or coastal weave, whatever it's called, um, embossing folder that's in this timeless tropical set and if you can see close up i mean it really gives some cool texture it's not just back and forth basket weave there's actual it just looks so realistic a little basket weave so i love that um when using our designer paper i just wanted to show a couple like don't forget old sets um that you've got from the cattle the annual catalog so Sets like this back on your feet with the sloth and I totally got it for this giraffe Because it says this is not good. <laughs> I Love that one and even this the sloth. This is sigh oh, Sigh to give somebody sometimes that's all there is to say and then I'm here for you. I love I love the stamp set and I thought the sloth is in kind of the tropical weather So I liked that background for him and then I colored him in with my blends so don't forget to mix and match when you get new things. Oh, isn't this designer paper so cute? I love these bananas. So you don't want to cover it too much. And I used, remember last week, if you guys were here last week, I showed these, um, all these dies from the So Sentimental bundle. And I love these shapes. I'm using them a lot. And isn't this fun? Um, <laughs> um, this, I love this burlap trim. It's very thick. It's very thick and at the end I'm doing this a lot because you can kind of spread it out. It's so thick um, that it's just a fun little accent piece. And doesn't that add just a little bit of tropical to it? May your birthday be memorable. And I stamped that over. Thank you Robin. Yeah I did them all last night. <laughs> I told my husband I wasn't gonna sleep much. And he said okay. Um, so the designer paper itself really speaks for itself. I, I love what the designer paper does. Here's a totally different look with the designer paper again. I just used the more kind of plain, so not so bold. Um, and then I used the Hello Friend from that uh, Seriously the Best kit uh, that I showed you, was it last week? Um, but then I actually fussy cut around that. Hi, Evelyn. How you doing? Um so fun that a few people are on. I love when people stop by live. Thank you guys for your comments. I This is so much fun and I totally wish I could have played even more and uh, instead of doing dishes and the other chores <laughs> that I have to do. Um, if you notice this background piece is that um, scalloped rectangle also from the So Sentimental Bundle. Um, and then here I also wanted to show you so for you avid stampers, these are actually pieces that I fussy cut out from the Memories and More card packs that I showed you. So this was actually on a card um, that you could put in and use again for cards or scrapbooks, but I fussy cut around it. I just used the saying and kind of stamped it in a gray. Um, and then I fussy cut around the, the pineapple and the flowers were already just 
uh, on a card. So I just had to cut around them. And then I did cut out with my dies this uh, per pretty peacock and old olive leaf just to add a another element of cardstock. So that's a simpler one because all I did was cut that out and pop that onto the card. Or if you add another dimension of um, emboss the background, and again, just white on white, um, and then I embossed this hello, and I fussy cut around it. Um, yeah, aren't these cute? Uh, these two are actually inspired by uh, Jackie Aiken, which is one of our Stampin' Up! artisans. She had done some fussy cutting, and I thought that was brilliant to do some fussy cutting on our scrapbook pages. Because if you can just, you know, sit in front of the TV and watch stuff, um, this is fun to kind of do. And typically when I'm fussy cutting... I love my paper snips. These are the best to cut around small little detailed things. Um, and I try to leave just a little bit of trim because then people fo don't really focus on your, your, uh, I don't know, if you're a little off, they focus on the object itself and it's already got a nice, like perfect line around it. So I know, isn't that pretty Robin? The white on white, so pretty. Um, and this is vanilla. So it gives it a little bit softer look. It's not so bold. Um, but I wanted to show you, so you can step this suite up as complex as you want or as simple as you want. Um, there's just so many things you can do with this tropical one. And I just thought even, because we live, most of you watching are in Indiana, not all of you, but because we live in an area that gets kind of gray and blah in the winter, it, I mean, wouldn't it be fun to send some sunshine and some tropics um, to someone to say thank you or thinking of you um, or a just because card? So I'm going to show you quick um, a card similar to this one, but we're going to do it in a pink. So just to show you that I'm not kidding how fast these cards can be. I'm going to do one, that one was on white, I'm going to do a card on vanilla cardstock. And oftentimes when I'm doing, thank you Teresa, I know, there's just so much fun. Stampin' Up! makes it really easy to make some cute cards, I'm telling you. Okay, so I'm going to stick this in the corner, it gives you little corner guards. And oftentimes when I do a one layer card, I like to round, round my edges um, on one side. And I stuck both pieces in at one time, and it takes those corners off. And I'm going to use my smaller flower, and I'm using Petal Pink. So it's a really light, because I want my saying to still kind of stand out. Um, let me get some scrap paper out here. Sorry about that. Okay. I'm going to test. I'm sorry, that's never happened before. My husband tried calling me. So sorry if you've got a pause there. So this is a really pale pink. It's the petal pink. And I'm re-inking it each time just because I'm going off the edge and I don't want any uneven... And another thing that I did on my other card was to get my glitter brush. I mean, this is always something fun to use. And when you use your glitter brush, it kind of works similar to your aqua painter. So it kind of re-wets the ink and blends it a little bit. So not only does this give my card a little bit more sparkle, but it kind of bleeds the color too and brings out the shape of the flower. So I'm just gonna, I'm kinda just going over the centers of the flower to bleed the insides of those petals and make sure I got all of them here. Okay, so already, isn't that pretty? And it's got a little sparkle on all of them. 
Now I'm going to use our Friendship is Timeless and stamp that in black. Right in the center here. You don't want to rock back and forth. You want to press down. Our friendship is timeless. Isn't that fun? A simple card, um, but still that I think somebody would like. Um, it's got pretty light flowers on it. Um, which one do you like better? I think actually after doing that one, um, the yellow one is a little bit brighter. You guys like the the yellow one better or the light pink one? I think the uh the yellow one kind of blended more. This one was Mango Melody, which is funny when you when you stamp in Mango Melody, it looks a little bit more orange, but when you start bleeding the color, it a bright ye yellow kind of comes out, which is fun. So, any of you have a preference which one you like better? But seriously, that took me less than a minute to make. You just stamp the background and then stamp your saying in black. So much fun and so simple. Um, now I wanted to show you, I hadn't gotten this finished, but I'll still finish it for you. Now, because I want to show you a couple things, I'm going to take away the, you like the yellow one? Yeah, I think I do too. They're both cute, but the yellow had a more a bigger pop of color. So I would agree with you, ladies. So far, I don't have any men followers, but maybe that'll change. I don't know. Robin, you should get your husband to watch, too, with you. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, all right, so I've already kind of stamped the flowers, um, but I wanted to show you when you stamp... Um, like this is Blushing Bride, so our lighter pink, but I stamped the big flower in the Melon Mambo color. Okay, so when you color on a dark, what I did after, um, after I stamped it was I just took my Aqua Painter. So it works similar what I just showed you with the uh, Wink Estella Glitter Brush. When you go over with your Aqua Painter, it also kind of bleeds the color, which is kind of fun. And then this is, uh, I think it's Granny Apple Green. And you see how you run over it and it just, and I stamped this a while ago. He won't even walk in here. That's funny. Um, so this bleeds the color a little bit. I think this was the Call Me Clover I stamped over the Granny Apple Green. So it's fun to actually, I think sometimes we think we could you just color and stamp on white paper but it's actually fun to color a darker stamp a darker color over a lighter color of cardstock and that gives you a different texture as well um, I also wanted to share with you I already taped this down but I uh, embossed with that coastal weave embossing folder over the designer paper and when you do that you can use just uh, Stampin' Up used to have some uh, sanding paper blocks so I used that, but you could use any, uh, like a softer sandpaper. And if you sand over it, it'll distress it a little bit and so you'll see some white show through. Um, so I kind of liked the look of that. And then I'm gonna stamp again from the, the So Sentimental stamp set that I showed you guys last week, because I really love these shapes. I wanna show you again how you can, how easy it is to mix and match, you know, if you have, or if you already ordered this So Sentimental and then you get the Timeless Tropical, totally you can use it. And then dimensionals are our best friend. I almost always order dimensionals on, because I go through so many on like every demo order. <laughs> because I love them. And you know, they're not gonna move anywhere. Okay, so I'm putting this on first and then I'll kind of, that will guide where I think I want my sentiment to be a little bit down and kind of to the corner. So this is, this is where my mind goes to, okay, I put my sentiment down and I want to figure out where do I want my other flowers to be. 
And before I kind of glue them down, I will just pop them in and stick in where do I think it looks good. Um, and these little pieces, let me show you. Uh, so here's all the stamps you get. Um, and then you can fit your dies right in your, um, in your case. And I actually put some magnetic um, strip down so that I can, sorry, I, I've never had this many phone calls before on my, <laughs> during my life. Um, so I may have to try to speed this up. Um, so here's all the dyes. There's cute little, the tropical flowers that you've seen, but these leaves do a little bit of uh, debossing, which is cool. So it's not just cutting them out. It's also giving a little bit dimension to it too, when it cuts it out. You see that? It gives it a little bit of shape and some lines in there, which is really fun. Okay, so I think I kind of like where those ended up. So I'm gonna sneak the big flower underneath here. And then the leaf right next to it. Let's see. Not that it really matters exactly where it is. Here's my lighter pink one that I stamped in Blushing Bride. Since I was on Blushing Bride cardstock, I stamped this one in Blushing Bride. And maybe you saw that, maybe you didn't. And then these are um, in the pretty peacock color. I think I'm gonna use, if I can find some of my mini dimensionals. I see black ones, I'll use them. You just wanna make sure you don't put your dimensional on the side that has, hi honey. I saw you called. I'm sorry. I'm in the middle of my video. Uh, Jacob is usually done around um, 3.10 or so. I don't even know what time it is. But I think the school did try calling. Did you hear that, honey? Okay. There you go. How fun. Isn't that pretty? I can't thank you enough. Who wouldn't like that bright thank you card. Um, and I love, again, that these So Sentimental um, dies do the little stitching on there too. You just can't beat that. It's so pretty. And then if you wanted to add a little bit more um, bling, you could add some of your Wink Estella again right in the center of the flowers and add just a little bit more sparkle to it. Oh, you got them already. Okay. Alrighty. Um, so that's fin a finished card there, and that didn't take too much time. I love you too, honey. <laughs> oh, I've, I've never had so many people trying to call me during my live video, so sorry about that, people. Um, okay. Oh, I also wanted to show you guys, um, remember the cute little meerkat? I showed this like, I don't know, a month ago or so, but this was using that Timeless Tropical, those little um, palm trees were in the background. Um, and uh, then I stamped the meerkats and remember I colored them in with my black marker. Um, so that was a fun one. And I sent off a thank you from all of us, uh, to my, um, my brother-in-law Steve and his family, cause they do live in Florida. Um, so again, the tropical you mix and match, you can mix them with all different kinds of things. So recap of timeless tropical and then I'm going to show you a little sneak peek of new things so you don't need the dyes you absolutely do not need them he's chuckling <laughs> yes my husband very rarely interrupts my life but oh well he picked up my son so I guess that's good <laughs> yes I figured it wasn't chucking <laughs> he wasn't chucking anything um so you can do totally simple cards without a big shot but um, then when you see what the dies can do, the embossing and the cutting, your big shot really makes more professional cards um, just so easily. So I love my big shot. If you don't have a big shot, um, I think Stampin' Up's going to be coming out with a new die cutting machine. 
um, this by June or July when our new catalog comes out. So that's exciting to me. Um, or you can fussy cut stuff if you don't have one yet. <laughs> if you really like that sort of thing. Um, so the Timeless Tropical. It is an awesome suite. I love it. Um, again, if you want to look at the number of the whole suite, it's 153941. That's 116. And you would get two celebration items with it. If you just wanted the bundle, the stamp set, and the dies that match, it's 153811, and that's $52. The Coastal Weave Embossing Folder is 151503, and that's only nine. And then the Memories and More Pack, all of those pieces, it's only 11 bucks, guys. I think that's such a good deal. 151255, and you can do so much with that Memories and More um, pack. Um, now, exciting news, round two, celebration. It's not coming, so I'm going to slide this out because they made another insert of new things that will be coming March 3rd. So these will only be available March 3rd to March 31st um, for you. I do love the dies too, Teresa. Um, new things that will be available for you to earn for free come March, so the very last month. So I know I, I add to my own wish list. <laughs> Stamp it up. I love you. It's a love-hate relationship, right? <laughs> it is. One of our we had a downline meeting last night and one of the girls said stamping up's their crack. <laughs> um, which is a little bit true, but it's way healthier than crack, right? <laughs> um, so this paper um the flowering foil specialty designer paper is so cool. I love it. Um I wanted to show you quick and I don't know how much time I have to um but cool things that you can do with it. So it has this copper foil already over it. Um, and you can do so many things. This one, Sending Healing Hugs one, I just used my um, my little sponge daubers. So we have these little sponge daubers that are easier to control rather than a big sponge. Um, if you have the Stampin' Up! sponges, I do cut mine into quarters, so you could use that, but it's a little less messy when you use your sponge daubers um, to color. Now, we also have um, a sponge roller, so isn't that pretty? Yes, it is. Th it, you know what? When I think of this, the money that I spend, it is cheaper than, um, you know, seeing a counselor. So I suppose this is... This is my therapy. <laughs> um, and I love it. Okay, so we have a sponge roller. And I actually did wash this out a little bit. It had some purple color on it. So we'll see how this goes. Um, but I'm going to do a few different colors. I'm going to start with the lightest color. So and cheaper than liquor. You're right. Way cheaper than liquor. Um, so this is my blushing bride, and I'm going to get my sponge roller inked up around the whole thing. And then I'm just going to lightly rub across the bottom of my paper there. Now this color is, is very light, so I'll probably blend in with the other colors. Now the cool thing about the foil is it resists any color. You're not going to truly see the wow of this until I get to some deeper colors. <clears throat> and my husband's home. Well, that's nice that he picked up Jacob because usually I'm trying to rush after my video to go pick up Jacob. Wednesdays are crazy days. All right, now I'm inking it up on Calypso Coral. Okay, so. Oh, and you see that a lot, a lot better. And I'm going to actually blend it down into the pink. I'm not putting it all the way to the top, but I'm blending over most of the middle here. Okay. Now I'm going to do my darkest color, the poppy. It's a bright orangey red. And because I'm going darker to lighter, you don't necessarily need to wash off your sponge when you're going darker to lighter. So I'm starting Started at the top, I'm going to blend down into the Calypso Coral, so it kind of blends all together. 
And then it gives it kind of an ombre look. It's kind of fun. And you just roll it as many times as you want until you have, you know, how, how you want it to look. And it's kind of blended over. And then, like I said, all that foil resists. If you take a little paper towel or something, I would rub it off. Okay, so someone just asked, what is this paper? foil paper again. Um, it is not available yet. So I'm showing you now something that you can earn for free um, in March. Here's something that they use the blends to color the outside of those flowers. Okay, so starting March with a $50 order, you can get this for free. So it's not something you can just purchase in March, you can earn it for free. There's also another, if anyone got the Christmas Cup of Cheer, there's this Rise and Shine uh, mug set that you can earn with a hundred because it's two uh, it's not two cases but it's got two sets of stamps and I haven't made anything with that yet but I did get it because it's cute there's another kind of Father's Day-ish um, stamp set that you can earn for free so again these are all another set of celebration items that you can earn for free there's some pretty colored vellum that already has some texture to it um, and then there's this Tags and Bloom set. And yes, darn you, Stampin' Up! I wasn't going to get these uh, punches that match with this, but when I saw this set that you could earn for free, I had to get it. And I did make one card with it. This is super simple. This was really fast to make um, because I just stamped the outline in black. And then these pieces, you just stamp right over. So like this piece right there was this little piece that I stamped in yellow over the center of the flower and it's got a couple different pieces of um, like this was the leaves over here and so I stamped over in soft sea foam with that so you've got pieces that you can do the outline and then pieces that you can color it in with which is kind of fun and then there is this outline that look, makes it look a little bit stitched and then I punched it out because it matches with these two punches um, that are in the spring caddy. Um, and what I do love about this one is it can punch out a little hole or this um, longer line, which is what I used on my, on my purple posy piece. You see, that's just punched out so I could easily weave this kind of thicker ribbon through there. But isn't that pretty? So simple, so simple, oh my goodness. And uh, it was fast to make, but such a cute little card. I miss your face that I could send to like my sister or my friend Courtney who's in Ohio or somebody. Um, so again, and this one is you, your earn with a $100 order. So I know the choices, huh? more choices of things to earn for free. So you just kind of got to choose which ones are your favorites. Um, but I like that they give more options because maybe maybe the stuff in the other celebration wasn't your favorite. But some of this, yeah, this is gorgeous. So again, here's the card that I made with the flowers. And I just sponged over the centers and sponged over it. So pretty. Simple card. Um, so that's coming March 3rd. So yes, sorry to tease you, but um, it's coming soon. Some more things that you can earn for free. But now that you want the, the Timeless Tropical Suite, you can earn another thing for free. Another couple. Or you could get that stamp set um, if you wait till March to order. Um, let me turn this back around. Some of you have already taken advantage, but I will have free shipping. I will pay for your shipping through the 20th. Um, so you need to contact me. Uh, I can still use your credit card, but then I use my credit card to pay for your shipping. And I can still ship it directly to you. Um, so this is the time to put a big order in when I'm giving free shipping. I've given away, I've paid for quite a bit of shipping for people. Um, but I'm happy to do it because i um, celebrating my 15 years of Stampin' Up! And just celebrating you guys. Some of you have been with me since almost the very beginning. And I do love you all. Um... In fact, last night at our demonstrator meeting too, um, one of the girls 
uh, Sharon made these cute little boxes that have some chocolates in them. Isn't this so cute? And she made this little tag that comes out that says, you know, love and hugs. So sweet. Our, my Stampin' Up! team is awesome. I love, because of Stampin' Up! all the people and friends that I've met, whether you're in my club or just a customer or you've joined my team. Um, one of my team members made this and gave me, even though I couldn't do the swap. Isn't this cute? This is the waterfront stamp set. I think this is in the annual catalog. And Robin, my friend Robin, if you're still watching, she made this one, um, which is so cool. She has a little magnet in here. Robin always does amazing things. Um, and how cool that she gave us little seeds, poppy seeds, um, in this little pocket. So cute. And like I said, Sharon made these for everybody. She's so sweet. Um, I really love the people that I've met. And my uh, downline Chris made this one for me. So pretty. Using some of the Valentine's um, paper and stuff. So um, <clears throat> Stampin' Up! has been an awesome place. Not just paper therapy for me, but it's been a place. I love you, Robin. It's been a place where I have met very, very good friends. And I've made some just amazing met amazing people and they've become very dear and just beloved to me so i love stampin up if you want to join please just ask me questions because this really is the best deal i've ever heard stampin up doing um because you get the free paper trimmer you get a free so here's the cute little mini paper trimmer it's so cute it's a little guillotine paper trimmer that you could do you know at a scrapbook weekend too i think i'll bring this sometime if i do a scrapbooking weekend um you get a free sampler of designer paper and you get to pick a free stamp set of your choice after you pick your $125 worth of stuff. So just let me know if you want to take advantage of that and join my team and be part of our Stampin' Up! family. So I think that's all I... Oh, I did want to reiterate. Thank you for sharing. Uh, Teresa, um, I said that the first three people to order in February and share my video last week. We're gonna get a free celebration stamp set for me. So Teresa, I'll be sending this to you. And Rachel won the happy birthday to you stamp set. And um, speaking of this set, our February boxes that will be coming, paper pumpkin boxes, are going to match this set. So it'll be even more awesome if you have this, if you've earned it for free. And then Stephanie Sayeda, she got this stamp set from me for free just for sharing my video and placing an order so i thank you so much uh, for all of you who stopped by today that i i hope that you liked all my examples um, and that you will have fun playing with the timeless tropical suite because it is adorable and i love it yes rachel i, well, I thank you guys and it would feel so much more awkward if I didn't have people show up. So thank you guys for coming to visit me. Um, I really do love you all. Like, share, um, spread the word. Because um, I, I just want to encourage people. Because this is not just therapy for me. It's also sending hugs in the mail too. I really do try to send out my cards and tell people that I love them. Um, let's not let that, the art of paper crafting and sending cards die um, with all this technology. We need to still send love. Isn't it so much fun to get a card in the mail? I love it. So um, let's keep it alive, people. All right, well, now that it's snowing some more, I hope that you have had fun visiting me with these bright colors and imagining yourself at the beaches of Cancun or Florida. And if not, sigh. <laughs> um, so you guys have a great day. Thanks for stopping by. Love you all. Bye.